Hey team! I decided to take a video outside today. We just got new horses down here. They're not mine, but that'd be fun to be with them. Oh, she's scared. Anyways, I wanted to talk a little bit about sticking to plan and bad days or cheat days. So first of all, my whole thing is that I don't want anyone to feel guilt. You can't make progress if you're feeling guilty and shamed all the time. And that's part of freedom is breaking through those negative feelings. And so that guilt isn't even part of your uh, vocabulary. It's not even part of your mind frame anymore. And that feels amazing. So first of all, I want to talk about the word cheat. When, uh, when you say, I cheated today, what are you actually saying? You're saying you failed, there's rules. Think about when you are, you set um, the direction in your GPS to go somewhere. So it gives you this plan of where you're gonna go and how to get there, the fastest way to get there. And what happens is sometimes I miss a turn on accident, sometimes it's on purpose because I think my way might be faster or better for whatever reason. Facebook and I ruined the whole day and I told her you know what and this is for you you know who I'm talking about I said you know what those days those moments are actually your best data that's what you want because we all have certain triggers and we're all on our own personalized journey it's not a one-size-fits-all so you can't just follow my instructions or follow all the fad tips you have to discover who you are and what triggers you. And then, once you do that, so for example, now she knows that late at night, Facebook, that's probably going to trigger an ice cream bitch. So who cares if you did that one, that one night? What matters if you do it over and over and over again, right? So don't look at these um, moments as fails, but just as your best data. So you are your own scientist. You are the only one that knows you as well as you do and why you did everything. So just collect data so that you know how to react to it next time. So research, research shows that when you do study those triggers so you know those crucial moments and you make a plan for it, you're way more likely to succeed when you follow that plan. Well, because you'll have that plan, you're more likely to follow it. So find your triggers. Find the moments that are hard. It's going to be your very own thing. I don't know. So be your best scientist, okay? And just be willing to admit that willpower or even skinny your whole life whatever and the truth is no it's not I'm not skinny or healthy because I have willpower I have lost 30 pounds and I've kept it off for five years the reason why I'm healthy is because I have skills it's not willpower it's skills and those skills come from continuing to practice rerouting asking myself why and practicing all the time and not giving up so those skills become habits which are natural come natural to me every every day and so it's not this battle every day it's just I do what's natural to me and that's why it's easy for me to stay healthy at this point because I've gained those skills so just remember keep in mind you're building skills that's all you're doing all right now that's it see you guys later <laughs>